Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to share some thrilling news from SpaceX. While we eagerly await the launch license from the FAA, the dedicated teams at Starbase are hard at work preparing for the Starship launch rehearsal, which is anticipated to be a full wet dress rehearsal. Over the past few weeks, we've observed crews repeatedly removing the hot staging ring from the booster, showcasing the meticulous attention to detail and preparation required for this upcoming event. For today, a 12-hour road closure is scheduled. Initially, we anticipated witnessing another test of Starship S-26 during this closure. However, a surprising turn of events suggests that we are more likely to observe a wet dress rehearsal involving the full stack. It's worth noting that a Marine Safety Information Bulletin MSIB, has already been issued regarding this test, which suggests that the test will involve the use of methane. Whether it's a full-stack wet dress rehearsal or a static fire test of S-26, the day promises to be brimming with anticipation and excitement. For our new viewers, a wet dress rehearsal is a practice launch where the rocket is fully loaded with propellant, but the engines are not ignited. This allows SpaceX to thoroughly test all the systems and procedures involved in launching Starship and to identify any potential problems. In addition to these tests, SpaceX is also targeting its 74th mission of the year later today. Starlink Group 623 is set to launch from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This mission will carry another batch of Starlink satellites into orbit, further expanding SpaceX's global broadband network. What's particularly remarkable about this launch is that the first stage booster supporting the mission, B-1062, will be embarking on its 16th flight, underscoring SpaceX's commitment to reusability and reliability. Before we wrap up, here's a fun question for you. How many times has the SpaceX Falcon 9 booster been certified for reuse? Share your answers in the comments. Apart from these exciting events, there's not much else happening in the world of space today. Thank you for tuning in to this short video. I'll see you next time.